Welcome back, everyone, to Poppin' Often with Lofton. Today, 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 we're going to be learning Muse, Amy's second job. Third and fourth will be coming out today. Also, something else coming out today. I'm going to be doing responding to comments video. For those of you that left comments on that new content video, I'm going to be making a responding to comments on it. That's why I haven't read them. That's why I haven't liked them or anything or responded because I was going to do a video with them. It was It's a group discussion. So make sure you stick around for that. That's going to be coming right after I upload all three of these videos. Of course, if you guys want to help support the content and support what I do, what I create, go check out that Patreon, early access to videos, able to actually sit in some of my videos, even maybe talk in some of my videos. I mean, I'm trying to have some group discussions sometimes. So, you know, if you want to be, be part of all that type of fun, Supporting me on Patreon not only helps keep the channel going, but you can also be in on that. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna know with Amy, just in general, I'm gonna get this out the way right now. Amy is not a normal class. And so you can't play her expecting that to be. It's not a class that you've ever seen in any other games. It's nothing like that. She is definitely unique in her own way. And the way you play her is unique and the way that she functions is unique. So once you understand that, you can better understand Amy, okay? So that means every the way you approach things, the way you do things, it's not going to be the same as other characters. You have to remember that when playing Amy. So let's just go over the basics. You have Z, Z, Z. Okay, you have Z, Z, Z up, which does like an AOE blast. See? Just to get them off of you. Uh, very good for like things that roll or things that evade and get behind you. Just pop them away. You also have the dash back Z, which is that right there. Um, you also have the up Z. You also have the up down Z. You also have the jump left Z. You also have the up up Z. You also have the up up down Z, which makes you do that. You also have the up up dash Z. Pretty much you can dash. Um, one of the unique things that you've probably noticed is that she has a double jump. She has a double jump and she's really, really fast when she's in her melee form. I think she's just fast in general, honestly, but she has a double jump and you also get a buff I'm switching back and forth between your stances, you get a defense buff. So you always want to have that active in dungeons and in uh, PvP. You always want to have that active, so always try to switch and keep that kind of just floating throughout the whole entire uh, scenario. One thing I do want to touch on with this form is that you actually have different notes. It might not seem like that on the surface, but if you pay attention here, when you jump and your first Z comes out, that's a high note. If you do down, that's a low note. You see what I'm saying? So she definitely has different ways to play and it's up to you to really master it. Uh, high note, low note, okay? She also has, like I said, that back note. Um, I, I wanna touch over a couple of other things with her. So you're not able to step with this job. A lot of her jobs and a lot of her stances, you can't, I don't think you can step with her at all. But one thing you can do is you can rocket jump. So pay attention to how my dash looks like if I do this. Pay attention to how my dash looks like if I jump and do that. Now pay attention to a rocket jump dash. See the distance you gain from rocket jumping? Way better, way better. Not only are you not going up and to the right, so not only are you doing this, kind of like a rectangle shape, you see? Not only are you, you know, you're going like that, you're, you're making it like this, so it's harder to get to you, especially if someone doesn't know how to rocket step, and you're very, very slippery. And once again, rocket steps are used to traverse platforms rather than sitting and floating in the air. Very, very useful when playing this job um, and you're playing the performance mode. Another useful tip is the fact that when you do dash, you, you actually get a boost of movement. Check this out, check this out. So dash, dash, but if I wait, look at that little extra boost of movement. Makes you very, very hard to catch. So if we if we factor in the rocket step and we factor in that boost, check, check where we're at, check this, check this. Look at that distance. You just have to wait and make sure you're not falling off in that motion. And you can float like a butterfly. And I'm trying to say sting like a beat. Oh, I'm trying to say. You can make a lot of jumps that you probably couldn't make if you get that extra boost. You're zooming. So really, really keep that in mind when you are playing Muse, okay? Just to recap what we learned here, we have the boost from our dash. We want to always try to rocket jump if we can in this mode. And then we also have a high and we have a low note, okay? So... High note, low note, rocket step all the time if we can, and our dash Z gives us an extra boost, okay? All right, so the fighting mode. This is where Amy, in all her jobs, has a fighting mode and a performance mode. Performance mode is what you would expect, like singing, dancing, or whatnot, and the fighting mode is what you would expect, fighting. So fighting mode here. So let's just kind of go over the basics. So we have Z, 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 of course. 
we have the dash C. We have the up C. We have the um, up down C. Same thing, same thing. And one thing to note about her dash attack is that she actually has a random chance of falling. When she does fall, she does bonus damage and she is invincible and impervious to attacks. So let me try to get it for you. She does have a random chance of falling. I think, there you go. Down Z. You can either attack again after it, which lifts them up, or you could just dash right after and get out if you want to. Very, very good when you're pairing that with like running away and stuff. Once again, she cannot step, but she has two dashes in her melee form. So, see? One, two. So she gets two of them. So even if you, this looks like she's stepping, but she's not. You just, you're just dashing multiple times, that's all. One thing that Amy can do is she, whenever she spins, as you see, she moves, she stops, right? Like let's say I'm dashing, I'm dashing and I spin. I'm forced to stop and drop. The way you wanna get past this is you wanna use it in scenarios where you are already like dropping. So let's say I'm like dashing over here and I'm already dropping, I would use it right now, you see? So you wanna use it in spots where you're forced to stop anyway and start moving again. Don't just spam it. Don't just do it in weird positions. You will catch yourself off guard and somebody will take you down. Uh, or even a boss might hit you. So you wanna make sure that you're already doing it in spots where you know you're not moving at all. Also, you can actually cancel the animation if you use a skill. Like you can cancel the animation over spinning. So let's just say I spin. I'm in a skill and I'm not really, I'm not really vulnerable, right? I spin and I'm already in a skill. And speaking of canceling, that actually cancels pretty much everything that she does. So if you wanna do a combo, and you want to swap into something else, you can while they're stunned. Um, once again, I'll do it in fighter mode. See, I don't have to finish my combo. I swap and I'm out. Um, one way that I think is the best way to use it is doing it with a dash, especially with Siren. And I'll go over this in the Siren video. It definitely tricks them. So you can make it so you can make it look like you're about to do something, look like you're about to drop and then cancel, Let's trick them. Maybe you do this repeatedly. You do that repeatedly. You do that repeatedly, right? Train their mind into thinking you're about to do it again and then just cancel it and get out. <laughs> and they might use a skill. You don't know. Remember, you always want to try to use that to cancel and trick people. Another cool thing is you can do that to, once you hit the ground. So check this out. Check this out. Lose my bag. Check, check this out. Check this out. See? So you can always do that no matter what. You can always do that. You can swap to cancel your dash and then you can use the skill of the ability. So try again, see? So you're not forced to just sit there and do nothing. You pretty much are swapping it and you're using the ability as soon as you land. One thing to really note though is you can't change stances ever in abilities, see? So keep that in your mind. You cannot change stances in abilities. It's not like um, white magic and black magic with Ronin. It's not like that at all. You have to be able to be out of a skill to do it, okay? Now let's talk about her abilities and we'll wrap this video up. We'll start with the Muse mode. So we have this. What that does is it confuses them, re like reverses their keys. So left is right and right is left. Then we have our second bar. What that does is it increases the mana of your teams. It doesn't do her. I guess they nerfed it. Um, actually, I don't think you can regain mana, period, this yeah, I don't think you can gain mana period in Grand Chase Classic when you're using that ability. I don't think you can gain HP either. I think your character is just invulnerable to everything. I don't know if that's a balance change or not. Um, and then you have the, the final one is this. <laughs> I always think that's funny. All right, then we have the fighting stance. Second one. Okay. And then we have her third bar here. I just realized I had the mana item. I could have used it and then didn't have to hold it, but whatever. And I mean, that's pretty much it to Amy. Once again, you have to think of yourself as a character that has to be really, really creative with how they play. She's not typical. She's not normal. You really have to be creative. You really have to uh, go outside the boundaries of a typical fighting character. And that's how you succeed with Amy. The best part about it is she's very simple to play. Um, she has very intricate combos, but you're not forced to use them if you don't want to, and she could be successful. One thing that I think that would help is just kind of think of yourself as a fly, you know? Be annoying, be hard to hit, but also know when it's the right time to land, know when it's the right time to get close, you'll succeed, easy. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys wanna help support the videos and the content that I create, Patreon is your best bet. 
I appreciate any and all support. It definitely helps keep the channel going. So if that's something that you want to see succeed, please help with Patreon. Till next time, I always say thank you for what? Popping often. Pull often. Yeah, yeah.